Hey, my friends, welcome, 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 welcome. I'm your friend, Kevin. I'm here with my friends, Freddy the Teddy and Patrick the Bear. And today it's Thursday, the 24th of August, 2023. This is your card of the day. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're continuing to use the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine, images by Dan Craig. We've got the Hermit card from his Angel Tarot deck. Uh, this is featuring uh, Archangel Raziel, the Secrets of God, the Magician of God, if you will. And uh, this message all week long has been telling us to uh, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching and self-discovery. Now, Archangel Raziel in this image has a lantern. He's surrounded by fireflies, his magic. And he's sort of like dancing with the rings of Saturn. So I got my isms going on. You can read them, make them what you will. The one I did this morning was I am wisdom, I am light, I am a star, and I shine bright. Archangels, earth angels, spirit guides, father in the sky, mother in the earth, thank you for being with us today. I'm pleased to be your messenger. May this message be of value, be of service, and have meaning. And I set the intention to see, to feel, to hear, and to know your words, and to deliver the message in such a way as to enlighten, to inspire, and to heal others. Let this message be clear to all. So be it, and so shall it be. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, then let's just pick this one. The Emperor. Oh, I got the word for today, which is intention, uh, organization, leadership, leadership and structure, which speaks to intention. So the great emperor sits here on his throne, ready to dispatch and impart wisdom, knowledge, higher learning, understanding. What he's asking you to do, along with Raziel, is to organize your thoughts, organize your feelings, uh, organize what you are doing in a way that creates the structure for others. Uh, what I believe to be true of the emperor is that uh, it's almost like um, the business leader, the father, if you will, uh, that comes forward and says, listen, you're on your way. You've got what it takes. Now you just have to put things together in the right way. And what I'm hearing and understanding that your guardian angels, uh, they're quite adept at uh, managing the different areas and concerns uh, that you have. So they also are very adept at paying attention to the details. Now we are in the Mercury retrograde. So that doesn't mean that things are going to go off, things are going to go wrong, and people keep se sending those seeds that turn into weeds. That's wrong. What, it, what, what these retrograde planets do is slow down enough so that you can look at where do I need to make a little adjustment? Where do I need to make some, um, where, where can I make things better? Where can I get benefit? Where can I use this retrograde to bring me more benefit? And that's what benefits. That's what Raziel is saying to do. Go into quiet meditation and ask, show me how I can bolster these plans. Show me how I can make these plans better that suit everybody. So um, if you, uh, want to get help or you need to get help, bring in these spiritual um, directors, if you like. Think of them as your board of directors helping you. What this card also says is it is about bringing clarity. It is about recognizing not just your own success, but the success of other people. Um, know that you are a born leader. You're someone that people can trust. Um, it's a bit like you've got the energy of the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Mother, and all the Heavenly Spirits around you laying a solid foundation for any new project that you get involved with. Um, it is helpful right now for you to think with your logical mind, but also blend in some of that ethereal knowledge. Um, your efforts that you're working with and working on are going to bear fruit. Um, I think it requires you to create an orderly method with which to go about your business. 
Now, if you're feeling a little overwhelmed and you're feeling a little bit, ooh, your mind is all over the place, consider delegating some of the work to someone you can trust. Actually, I'd say if you've got these ideas and you've got this knowledge and it's all trying to fly out at the same time, that would be a way to organize your thoughts. The challenge we have when we've got epiphanies and we've got these ethereal ideas that are coming, which is the seeds of life, we don't necessarily have the patience to stand back and take a bird's eye view and look at things in an objective way. So drawing this card and having the hermit come in with it, um, it's asking us all to make decisions intellectually rather than emotionally. It might also be a day that you consult with professional mentors to get advice, particularly if they are experienced in the area with which you need help. So a lawyer, an architect, if you're planning a building, maybe a new doctor if you're concerned about health issues. Whatever this is, whatever you're doing, whatever you're embarking upon, Angels, guides, and spirits will always have your back. Let me say that one more time. The angels, the guides, and the spirits will always have your back. If you are coming from that light-minded, light-hearted, love-minded, love-hearted space. Now, we are sent here. I believe you believe what you want. We're spiritual being in a human experience. Some refer to this life that we're living as we are with the people that we're with a bit like a game, a bit like a, 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 a one of those streaming games. I've sort of got this idea that's possible, that's possibly true. It is possibly true that we're now in such technological advancement in, in, in our world that sometimes artificial intelligence is more realistic than the human reality. I'll say that one more time. Sometimes, not all the time, artificial intelligence is real, more real, seems more realistic, seems more uh, intelligent than human intelligence. That's where the soul and the spirit and your intuition will shine bright you. There's nothing about a robot or artificial intelligence that can mimic the spiritual action of a soul inhabiting a, a human body. What is so wonderful about this is, you know, even when you're not really conscious of it, and many of us are not, your body's digesting food. Your body is telling you what it wants to eat. Your body's telling you I'm full. Your body's telling you I'm hungry. Your body's telling you when to stop, when to start, when to go. It's that intuition, intuitively, that human intuitiveness. So when the emperor shows up, along with uh, the hermit, two major players in this human experiment, if you will, this game, today you'll be an urge to put those plans into place to call upon your higher beings, your higher guides, your higher angels, your the ones that are like your board of directors. And they can literally include anyone that has ascended into spirit form, that's returned to the root, who also want to come and help you. And if you're not sure who that is, whether it's a grandmother, grandfather, a friend, someone you knew in life that was really beneficial to you, really helpful to you. And you're thinking, well, how do I bring that person around? What do I do? You literally get quiet. You say to the hermit, I'm going to meditate and I'm going to ask you to go seek out Archangel Azrael. He is the angel of comfort in grief. He's also the angel that takes our soul from our physical body and leads us back into the spirit world. You can also say, Archangel Azrael, would you please work with Archangel Shamuel? 
to go and find the spirit and the essence of my relative fill in the blank of their name or my friend fill in the blank of their name. Particularly if that friend or that relative was really helpful to you in this life that you knew them to be. I've got two friends, one Billy, one Denson, who are still spirit guides along with my grandmother who still come and hang out and bring me and I can hear their voices. This is how it sort of starts. You sort of have to move away from that egoic mind of this is nonsense, this is silly, that's crazy. You have to push that away because that's fear. And that's ego. And that's the, the other side of why we're here. We have to have that balance. All right, my friends, I think that's it. Be brighter. Shine brighter. Know that joy, love, peace, harmony and great abundance is around you everywhere, always. And you want more of it, more of a certain type of it, just ask. Sounds easier said than done. It is the little subliminal message that pops up underneath it that has the strength. You've got to line those two up. All right, till tomorrow, lots of love. Thanks for liking, subscribing. We're up to 309 subscribers as of yesterday. We've got quite a way to go. We've got 700 more to get to where I can monetize this channel. Unless you feel like donating, and I'll put a link underneath so you can go donate. Uh, anyway, till tomorrow, lots of love. Bye.